Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Al Rubosky. Welcome to Fox Sports Midwest Live and the grand opening ceremonies to the first phase of Ballpark Village and exciting projects in Major League Baseball and the sports industry. While many thought this day would never come and Ballpark Village would never happen, one thing we should know about the St. Louis Cardinals is that they are a team that gives, never gives up and should never be counted out. Our community celebrates its 250th birthday. We cut the ribbon on Ballpark Village, a development that will be a real game changer for downtown and our region, attracting millions of visitors to our city and showcasing all that is great about our city. It is appropriate that such innovative, pioneering, and forward-looking development comes as we celebrate the birth of a city that has been a gateway to not only the West, but of the best, the best in baseball and the best in so many other things. Tonight, we take the opportunity to celebrate and thank the many people who have made this wonderful development, wonderful development happen and despite the numerous art, uh, obstacles along the way. Throughout this journey, we look to today, the support from key community members have been steadfast. People like the St. Louis County Executive, Charles Dooley, St. Louis Convention and Business Commission, their board and their staff, particularly Kitty Ratcliffe, has been great advocates. The Downtown Partnership, St. Louis Regional Chamber, City Progress, and the Regional Business Council also have been strong supporters. The tremendous support and leadership of our great organized labor community in St. Louis have always supported the Cardinals and this project because of what it means to the hardworking men and women of this community. I have no doubt that Ballpark Village will be an attractive site for development in the years to come. To get the program underway, it is my pleasure to introduce a man who has been one of the biggest champions of this project. His leadership and his and his integral has been integral in making the exciting project a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Jay Nixon, Governor of the State of Missouri. Thank you, Al. This is an incredible place. It's a great fit for the best team in baseball in the United States, okay? A big thank you to the Cardinals organization and the Cordage companies for bringing this terrific investment and attraction to the Show Me State, and especially the hardworking folks who have been putting in long hours to, with lots of skill to build Bar Ballpark Village from the ground up. To those folks that worked here, thank you very, very much. For more than 120 years, Cardinal baseball has been the heart of St. Louis. And for almost 50 years, the Redbirds have made their roost right here in downtown St. Louis. Since the opening of this newest Bush Stadium, nearly 21 million fans have turned out, cheering on the greats in the shadow of the Gateway Arch. They come to this shrine of baseball not only from the bi-state metro area, but from all over the Midwest, the country, and the world. True baseball fans know what a special place this is, and Cardinal Nation continues to grow each and every year. It's especially great to see those young families and see young kids experience their first Cardinal game. These fans and the revenue they generate when they come to a Cardinal game create incredible opportunities for this city and support thousands of jobs here at Bush and throughout the region. Ballpark Village is another significant step in the continuing commitment and investment of the Cardinals to downtown St. Louis. This development will be a great destination even during the off-season. And of course, there'll be one similarity with Wrigley to make Cub fans feel right at home. They can sit on rooftop seats outside our ballpark and watch the Cubs lose once again to the Cardinals. Okay? Opening day is right around the corner, and the view from Ballpark Village 
is one of a very, very bright future for the Redbirds, our city, and our state. Thank you. Go Cards. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the longest serving mayor in the history of the city of St. Louis, our friend and longtime partner the card of the Cardinals in Ballpark Village, St. Louis Mayor Vince Francis Slay. Well, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, I have a uh, very important message and announcement to give you this evening. Ballpark Village is open for business. It is no secret that this day has been a long time coming. And today is a great day for the entire St. Louis region. As we know, Bill DeWitt and the Cardinals never give up on themselves. And they did not give up on this project. And we want to thank you for that. Thank you for your perseverance, you and the Cordish Company, uh, during some very difficult headwinds. The Cordish Company and the Cardinals bought the bonds that were issued to finance this project, which protects the taxpayers. So that's good for us. And now Ballpark Village fills what was a vacant property with businesses, workers, residents who pay taxes to contribute to the environment in downtown and a great place for people, visitors, uh, to visit in downtown. I want to thank Governor Nixon and the entire state of Missouri for all their support, including uh, our Senator Jamila Nasheed, who's with us tonight, as well as uh, the Missouri Development Finance Board, the Missouri Department of Economic Development, Alderwoman Phyllis Young, the rest of the Board of Aldermen, and um, Darlene Green in her office as well. I want to thank the city's development boards and authorities, including um, Michael Holmes and the St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment, which helped Ballpark Village fill its restaurants and retail spaces with quality employees. And I want to give a special thanks to Rodney Krim and Otis Williams, the St. Louis Development Corporation, for doing a great job in pulling this together. And now I will conclude my remarks by presenting a proclamation to Mr. Bill DeWitt, declaring today Ballpark Village Day in the city of St. Louis. It is my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Bill DeWitt, Jr., the chairman and primary owner of the St. Louis Cardinals. Thanks a lot, Al. Uh, we certainly want to add to that record this year. We're very excited. We just returned from spring training, and everything looks good with the Cardinals. So uh, uh, keep your fingers crossed. We should have a very good team and get to those playoffs again this year. I want to thank Mayor Slay uh, for his support for this project. Uh, we went through some uh, difficult economic times through the years, and, uh, but he never wavered, always tried to find a way to make this happen, and you see the results of that here today. He committed his staff to, to helping accomplish uh, what we see, and we really appreciate his leadership. So thanks to Mayor Slay. Very pleased. Uh, I know David Cordish is going to say a few words after this, but. Uh, they've been great partners for the Cardinals. They're the preeminent developers of downtown retail uh, projects throughout the country. And I don't know that they've uh, done one as nice as this. They've done some great ones, but I must say this is pretty spectacular. We're very happy to have them as our partner. And um, uh, we have been at this for a number of years, as you all know, and uh, without their continuing support, Again, we wouldn't be here today. So thanks, David, and to the, the Cordish family. Our fans and community leaders and all of our supporters, our sponsors, you look around and uh, you see the signs and uh, the various restaurants and so forth, have really made this happen as well. And I think this is going to be the go-to place in St. Louis, not only for Cardinal games, but 365 days a year. Anything that happens downtown, this is going to be the focal point for it. So uh, we're really excited. 
What you see today represents the vision we had when we built Bush 3, a tremendous and unique game day experience for our fans and a great asset for downtown St. Louis. We hope to draw 7 million fans a year, 7 million patrons a year, I should say, uh, between uh, Cardinal Games and all the other events that we will see throughout the year, uh, concerts. Uh, I think there'll be a gathering place before Blues, Rams games, and uh, all the events that happen at the ballpark and, and down the street. So uh, this will really be a lively attraction for the city. I assure you, uh, without his stick to it uh, this day would not have occurred. And uh, he's put his heart and soul into this project and uh, his great attention to detail. Uh, we're not opening uh, the Hall of Fame in the museum tonight, but I think when you see that, you're going to be blown away. It's really spectacular. It'll be the envy of all Major League Baseball teams. I can guarantee you that. Thank you all for coming tonight and have a great evening. Thank you, Bill. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you David Cordage, the CEO of the Cordage Companies. Good, good evening, everybody. It is really unbelievably exciting for me to be here tonight at this opening. A lot of us have worked for a number of years to make it occur. And frankly, I'm privileged to be able to stand up here and represent the Cordage Company and my partners at the WITS. As was just uh, introduced, the Cordish Company has been building projects all over the United States for over 100 years. This one, though, is special. And I'm proud of a lot of the things we've done, but none are quite as special as Ballpark Village. And I'm gonna explain to you very briefly why. The two reasons that probably jump out and make themselves fairly obvious. This is wonderful, what we call dirt. This couldn't be a better location. St. Louis is a wonderful community. We feel like we've gotten to be part of the community. And those are two of the reasons why this project is special that are obvious. The third reason, though, is our partners. The DeWitt family, the two Bills, and the Cardinals, it is an honor to be their partner. It's a pleasure. We've worked through this together. We're going to continue to work through this. We're going to be partners for a long time. And as I said, we're very honored to be their partner. Now, you put those three factors together, great partner, great land, great community, you get what you're looking at tonight. I can't guarantee you World Series wins, I leave that up to the Cardinals. But I can tell you that we at the Cordishes and everybody here, we're all Cardinals. It becomes a meeting place for the city. It gives the, set, the city a sense of place. And I guarantee there will be residential units, there will be office units, there will be hotels that will be built as a result of this project. And I look forward to enjoying all of it. Thank you very much. Let me turn the microphone over to Blake Cordish, who's worked almost as hard as Chase in making this happen. And he's my middle son. We have three in the business. My, one of, one of my, the best advice I ever got from my mom was never to upstage my dad. So I'm going to try to make this really short and sweet and also allow people to go have some, some fun. Um, from the first day of this project, we knew that it had to be incredibly special. We had to honor the legacy of one of the great sports franchises in any sport in the world. We had to honor the legacy of the best uh, fan base in the world in any sport. And that's a pretty high bar to start from. We, we were committed with our partners at the Cardinals to deliver a sports anchored district and, and experience for the fans, unlike anything in professional sports. But the vision was extended beyond that. It was a vision that would create a 365 destination a destination when there was no event of the Cardinals, that people would come down and have a great time, both locally and from the region. One of the things that's made me so happy in, in talking to people tonight that have started to walk the project is everyone has a fa different favorite place. And I've heard 10 different places imagine, mentioned, and that's, to me, very gratifying. What I can tell you is there's something here for everyone. 
there, there are venues for families. There, there are venues where you can, you can go horse, you can go on a, a mechanical bull. You can sing along in a, in a, with a band. You can grab the best sushi. I think one of the best sushi restaurants in the country. There really is something for everyone. In the next 12 months, you're going to have over 200 events of every type, from art festivals to family fun days to rock concerts and everything in between. And when you walk around, you'll see six different stages, indoors and outdoors, that we'll host those on. This Sunday, we unveil the first uh, family fun day that will be on Bush 2 Field. A week from Friday, we unveil Fridays on Clark, which will be a celebration for all of downtown that we made it through the work week and the weekend can begin, and so on and so on. And I think this giving back to the community in terms of these major events is a big part of what we're so proud of and so excited about. Uh, it, the city is absolutely on fire and pointing in the right direction. Uh, and, as ex and as excited as we are about Ballpark Village, the first phase, and I think as world class of a destination that it is, we're confident the best is yet to come, and we look forward to continue our investment in many years of, of, of uh, being a part of your community. So thank you very much. Now the man that is probably the happiest one here, the man that so many of his dreams have come to fruition with this beautiful project right here, the president of the St. Louis Cardinals, Bill DeWitt III. Before I get started, well, I actually wanted to point out something that, um, if you noticed, all the speakers had the same tie tonight, part of the dress code. Um, but uh, like the other speakers, I have to, to thank some people. And bear with me if you would. Uh, Governor Nixon, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder, and Chris Pieper of his staff, and uh, Sally Hemingway, who did a great job for us in getting the Modesto approvals. Uh, MDFB Board Chair Marie Carmichael, Board Member Bob Misere, all did a great job for us with the state. With the city, Mayor Slay, thank you. Jeff Rainford, Barb Geisman, Comptroller Darlene Green, the Board of Aldermen, Lewis Reed and Phyllis Young, our older woman, all big advocates. Fred Wessels originally, this SLDC staff, and Rodney Krim. Without Rodney, we would not be here today. Thank you for being here, Rodney. Current Executive Director Otis Williams, Leslie Mitchell Yancey, and Dale Rutsatz. Um, the IDA Board, the DESA Boards. You know, we never lost a vote attempts to get this going, and there were probably about 10 of them. And I think they probably got a little bit sick of us at the end and just said, fine, okay. But um, the circumstances kept changing, so we had to keep coming back. But it was worth it, because we're all here today. Charlie Dooley, thank you for your ongoing support. Our partners at the Cordish Company, David, thank you for that great speech, and Blake, and Reed, and John, my team with the Cardinals. I'll just mention my VPs, who all were instrumental. Dan Farrell, Joe Strom, Thane Van Bruzigan, Ron Waterman, Vicki Bryan, who's done an incredible job of getting Cardinals Nation up and running. Joe Abernathy, Michael Hall, Brad Wood, Julie Lanningham, my assistant, John Mosalock. Everybody deserves a round of applause. Thank you. The design and the construction team, Frank Sapola was the guy who everybody dumped every problem on and deserves, I think, an individual special round of applause. Great job, Frank. And his partner in crime, John Gray. The hundreds of men and women who worked on this project and our great fans have been inspiring to me in their patience so long. It took five things to happen simultaneously to pull this off as I was thinking about it. City and state approval for the plan itself and the public financing piece. A committed third party tenants to go along with the Cardinals and Cordish tenant commitments. Private financing with our banks. A reasonable economic climate that came and went, but we finally got one. And the Cardinals and Cordish partnership alignment on financial operational and design issues. Those five things. We always seem to have two of them, or three of them, or four of them happening. And it wasn't until two years ago that they all came up together, all five of them, 
and we got started. Then the next one is, how do I feel personally? Um, you know, is there anything you would, a lot of people have said, is there anything you would say to your critics? You know, and uh, I'm not going to take the softball and swing at that because the reason they were critics is because they were frustrated and it meant that they cared and they cared about the Cardinals and about this project. And I was the biggest critic myself of everybody that wasn't pushing this ball forward, including myself on, on occasion. And so the fact that we got here is a testament to the, to the fact that there was energy on the criticism. What's next? David made the guarantee. I'll leave him with the guarantees. I made a few of those early and they, um, they came true just about five years too late. So what's next is cutting the ribbon. Thank you all for being here and let's uh, kick this thing off. What do you like best about Ballpark Village? Well, I think what I like about Ballpark Village is it's so huge. There's so many different venues and places to, to congregate and to hang out and sit. And I love that they have open air opportunities so you can watch the ball game as well. Well, that besides the fact of uh, getting out of the house, it's been kind of a long winter, right? Uh, so it's been great to come down here and uh, see all these celebrities down here. That's been really fun. Um, saw Ozzy Smith downstairs. He's looking good. Uh, I've also seen the Rams cheerleaders and uh, these statues we have out here of the uh, baseball, old time baseball players. Really neat. Like every few minutes you'll see that they'll move. So far. I think just the atmosphere. Uh, you can tell that everybody's really, really excited and it's just a really fun thing to be happening in St. Louis and it's so great for downtown. Think you'll come back down? Uh, I would love to come back down. Any chance I could possibly get to come back, I absolutely will.